good morning dear students so in today's class let's see what chemical affinity is and what are, what is its relation with thermodynamic functions chemical affinity is a term which was introduced by theophil de donder and he defined the uh, chemical affinity as the rate of decrease of free energy g with the extent of the reaction epsilon at constant temperature and pressure yeah, it is denoted by the simple af a suffix f and it is equal to the rate of decrease of free energy minus do g by do epsilon uh, the rate of decrease of free energy with um, extent of the reaction at constant temperature and pressure and this is equal to minus delta g okay uh, this is the definition of chemical affinity now we have to uh, derive the relation between thermod uh, thermodynamic functions and the new term chemical affinity okay so let's uh, first consider the free energy change gibbs free energy change g and its relation with chemical affinity af okay so what is g g is free energy and free energy is a function of temperature and pressure when we are considering free energy in the case of a chemical reaction it becomes a function of the extent of reaction also so far we have been discussing thermodynamic functions uh, not within the context of chemical reactions but uh, within the um, concepts of chemical processes chemical processes and chemical reactions are different um, uh, a change a chemical process just involve a change of state from uh, state 1 to state 2 but in the case of chemical reactions entirely different new products are formed in such a case um, we have to introduce uh, the concept of extent of reaction to deriving thermodynamic functions now uh, in this context we can say g is a function of temperature pressure and extent of reaction epsilon then dg can be written as dou g by dou t at constant tem uh, pressure epsilon into dt plus dou g by dou p at constant temperature epsilon into dp plus dou g by dou epsilon at constant temperature and pressure into d epsilon so uh, uh, so far we have learned that dou g by dou t at constant pressure is minus s let's substitute it here minus s dt plus dou g by dou p at constant temperature is v this is v dp and what do we have here dou g by dou epsilon at constant temperature and pressure what is dou g by dou epsilon this is the definition for uh, chemical affinity chemical affinity af is equal to minus dou g by dou epsilon uh, hence dou g by dou epsilon can be equated to minus af this becomes minus af into d epsilon now we have an expression for g in terms of the extent of reaction dg is equal to minus sdt plus vdp minus af into d epsilon let this equation be equation 1 which gives a relation between gibbs free energy change and extent of reaction now let's see what is the relationship between helmholtz free energy change and chemical affinity okay uh, g we know that g is equal to a plus pv this is the relation between gibbs free energy change and helmholtz free energy change from this what is say a is equal to g minus p therefore 
DAA is equal to DG minus PDV minus VDP. Okay. Uh, now we have equation 1 which gives uh, the expression for DG. Let's substitute it here. This is minus SDT plus VDP minus AF D epsilon minus PDV minus VDP. In this we have V plus VDP here and minus VDP here. They cancel out. What is left is minus SDT minus PDV. I am rearranging the equation. Minus AF D epsilon. Okay. We have an expression for DA in terms of chemical affinity and extent of reaction. DA is equal to minus SDT minus PDV minus AF into D epsilon. Let this equation be equation number 2. Okay. From this, what is DA at constant temperature and volume? That is equal to DT is 0, DV is 0. Therefore, DA at constant temperature and volume is AF into D epsilon. Or dou A by dou epsilon at constant temperature and volume is minus AF or it is equal to delta G. Okay. Now let's move on to the relation between what is this? That is enthalpy. H and A F. H and chemical affinity. We know that G is equal to H minus Ts by definition. So DG now becomes, uh, sorry, now from this what is H? H is equal to G plus Ts. So now what is DH? DH is equal to DG plus TDS plus SDT. For DG we have the expression uh, equation number 1 minus SDT plus VDP minus AF D epsilon. Let's substitute it here. This is minus SDT plus VDP plus sorry uh, D, minus SDT plus VDP minus AF D epsilon plus TDS plus SDT. Okay. So, here SDT and SDT cancel out. What is left is VDP plus TDS minus AF D epsilon. This is the relationship between H and DH and chemical affinity. Let this be equation number 3. Like we did before, what is DH at constant pressure and entropy? This is equal to minus AF D epsilon or dou H by dou H by dou epsilon at constant P and S is equal to minus AF. Now, the fourth uh, term is U and AF. What is the relation between internal energy and chemical affinity? For that also we have to start with G. G is equal to H minus TS. H is U plus PV and minus TS. So, what is U from this? U is equal to G plus TS minus PV. So, DU will become DG plus TDS plus VDP. Sorry, TDS, uh, TD, TDS plus SDT. 
Okay, this is product rule. That's why TDS plus STT minus PDV minus VD. Now, let's substitute for DG. What is DG? Minus STT plus VDP minus AFD epsilon plus TDS plus STT minus PDV minus VDP. Uh, we can calculate, uh, we can cancel out VDP and minus VDP. We have minus SDT and SDT. So what is left is TDS minus PDV minus AF the epsilon. This is the expression for DU in terms of chemical affinity. Let this be equation number 4. So what is du at constant s and t s and b that will be equal to ds and dv become equal to 0 and what is left is minus af into d epsilon or do u by do epsilon at constant entropy and volume is equal to minus af. So now we have expressions for minus AF in terms of DG, we have DA, DH and DU. That is minus AF is equal to do A by do epsilon at constant temperature and volume. In terms of enthalpy, we have dou H by dou epsilon at constant temperature and entropy. Dou H by dou epsilon at constant temper entropy and temperature. And we have in terms of internal energy, dou U by dou epsilon at constant entropy and entropy and volume. And also we have that is equal to dou G by dou epsilon at constant temperature and pressure. Now we have an expression for affinity in terms of Gibbs free energy change, Helmholtz free energy change, enthalpy and internal energy.